This today will mark a new approach in a way that the state of Maryland will preserve the bay. We have been a witness to many restoration efforts from oyster reef ball plantings to tree plantings. But Governor Westmore still says this is a new day for the Chesapeake Bay. We haven't been led by the science in the way that we need to. The governor signed an executive order to create the new council on the Chesapeake and Coastal Bay's watershed. It will bring together different agencies, including Maryland Department of the Environment, that didn't exist 40 years ago when the restoration work began. Captain John Smith came up the Chesapeake 400 years ago, folks, 400 years ago. And since that point, the environment had been altered substantially. So in 40 years, we're trying to reverse the balance of 400 years of disturbance through over farming, through suburban sprawl, and two phases of industrialization. That is not easy stuff. Executive Director of the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, Allison Colden, says science shows there are more effective ways they can work together. The governor referenced a May 2023 report, which was recently released by some of the leading scientists in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. And some of the things that they indicated in the report were we could do better targeting of different practices that are going in on the ground to make sure that they're be being put in the right places. So using data to lead our investments. CBF also supports the newly created Oyster Shell and Substrate Task Force, saying oysters create a rich habitat for more than 300 species of fish, crabs, and other organisms. Governor, what was missing? What led to today's announcement? Where were the holes? Well, I, th I think the holes were that uh, while we'd made some great strides, we still were not following what the data was telling us. You know, we still were not, we're not following the fact that, that we had to be able to distinguish between our, 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 our non-point and, and our point resources and what it means to address pollution. That we still were not addressing the fact that you cannot just talk about, uh, you know, the, the deep water pollution, but you also have to look at what's happening when it comes to the shorelines and saying that Maryland has to have a coordinated strategy around that. That strategy has been missing. Native trees were also planted at Y Island in Queenstown, where the announcement happened. While it's ceremonial, the experts say they're also one of the most effective ways to reduce pollution by capturing water before it leaves land. DNR Secretary Josh Kurtz says a good example of how the council will work is right here, where a farm is right next to the Y River. Having a place like this where we have native species of trees that are, that are soaking up the water, where we have smaller plants that go down and actually bridge that gap into the shallow water areas, where we have robust and healthy marshes, this really is where we want to get to as, a, as across the landscape. The governor says the build out of the new council will be starting soon. He says metrics will be used to follow its progress. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.